Okay, Mud Bones Garage, Sunday afternoon, and uh, I haven't cleaned out this drawer probably in uh, maybe 10 years, I don't know, I've added a few things, so I was going to take a look and see what we got in here. Here's a little handy tool, it's a little mini belt sander, and I'm probably going to take it out of this drawer. I don't use it too often. It's kind of special to use. Um, let's see what else we got. Here. Oh, and I got some new uh, belts for it. Okay, that's cool. This is an idler off of some vehicle that I don't own anymore, so I suppose I could throw that away. It's mostly aluminum, so I guess I could scrap that. Got a couple tool bags here. Nothing in them. Apparently saving them for something. I've got this uh, spray gun in here. I don't know. It's just parts. So I guess I can take that out of there. I don't even. I'm not using this spray gun. This is a real cheapo spray gun. I bought a long time ago. Um, I think I was just using it for primer. But I'm not using it anymore. So I'll take the tools out. Throw the rest away. There, I got a tire plugging tool. I can plug a tire if I'd like to. That looks vintage. Popular mechanics. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else. Now these, I think what these are, these are little clips that you put on a, a Chevy small block or some type of General Motors engine. And you clip those over the lifters um, or the rockers where the oil is. I can't remember, but it you can adjust you can adjust valves or something. I can't remember the exact purpose, but you can adjust valves without oil flying all over the place. And I I don't even know where I got that. I don't think I purchased it. I think it was in with a bunch of stuff I bought at an auction or something. Who knows? But anyway, I got that. And then there's this. This is a uh, Melon engine tools and it says Ford. These might be for a Ford tractor. I'm not really sure what they're for. It says for tappets. Don't look like they were ever used. So I don't know where I got those. I might put those on eBay because I have no idea what they are or what they're for. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, this is heavy. Okay. Oh, okay, this is uh, your magnetic base with your flexible shaft to put a dial indicator on. Okay, I believe I used that on the transmission. And I think right here, I believe, is the dial indicator. Yep, there it is. So that's kind of nice. Hopefully I won't be needing that anymore. Uh, let's see old thermostat that used to be in the garage and uh, I went to something much simpler just on off and up and down so I don't use that right here that I have a cord here that's been cut off of something and I guess I was planning on using that for something else I've got some uh, brazing flux somewhere around here I got some brazing rod I haven't brazed anything for 10 or 15 years at least. And then I found this little motor here. This is a gear gear reduction drive. And I don't have any idea where this came from or where it came out of. But I thought it was too cool to throw away. It's a slow speed too. It turns real slow. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I hate to throw it away. Kind of a hoarder that way. I've got some... Uh, shims here for Agco tractors. I think they're Oliver or White. And I can't remember if these are injector shims. I have I can't remember what they're for. But I got a whole huge bag of them. Uh, it could be injectors. It could be the hydraulic pump. I don't know. But I got a whole bunch of them with part numbers. I've had those forever. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And I got stacks of these um, microfish 
anybody knows, remembers what microfish is. Microfish viewers, they used to put these micro, um, these are service manuals, and you'd put them in a viewer and it would magnify them so you could read them. And that's what you had in the shop. And I think these are for still, steel, I guess it's steel equipment. And I've got some for Tecumseh. And what else do I have? Kohler engines. But unless you have a reader, you can't, it's, just, <laughs> it's so small you can't see it. But what I used them for, sometimes when you're installing um, seals and stuff, you can use this as a shim to guide the seal in place. And uh, that's kind of a widespread spread practice of using the old ones for that. I don't really have a use for them anymore. Cable ties, empty bag. Oh no, it's not empty. They're all dumped in here. Actually, I can take these out of here because I can use those someplace a little more accessible. There's another bag, cable ties. These are old. I don't know if they're any good anymore. Okay, this is Ford New Holland. It's for an 8N carburetor. And, uh, Brand new. Oh, this is for a t the front um, mag or timer, I think, for that. But these, I think, are for the carburetor. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I worked for that company. So, But you know how it is. You don't want to throw nothing away. If anybody needs any of this stuff, let me know. I, I don't really have a use for it. And I have one, two, two nice mag lights, which... I had trouble with them. They kept, um, and these are the LED ones too, but I had an awful time with them uh, not working. I think the switch is bad in them, so I went to a rechargeable battery style. So here we go. You want to lap the valves in your old Model T, or if you want to just, uh, if you're doing a valve job and you want to use these to turn the valves a little bit just to make sure you got good contact, that's what I use these for on the uh, Project 66R. Just check them and the Model T's. So what else we got in here? Looks like I got an extra test lead for my multimeter. I don't know what that's going in there. Okay, what's in the bag here? Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Argon. Okay. I have an argon gauge that I didn't know I had in here. I'm not sure what the, what's that for. Because I have gauges for my okay. cash. What else we got in here? Well, another idler pulley. I must go with that other one. Might have been off my Astro van. I don't remember. Okay. Handle for a drill or something. Grinder, maybe. Rail back battery charger. Can't even get it open. There we go. Don't know if I need that anymore. Oh, here we go. A Dixon lawnmower height blade. So um, you got the mower and the deck on the concrete floor. You can slide this under. And bring this up to the blade and it'll tell you what your cutting height is and it also you can check side to side to make sure that uh, the deck is level so that's a pretty cool tool which I'll never use again so that'll be available for somebody uh, here's a glass lens from something don't know what that is here's an aluminum filter housing this is for Bobcat Skidster Loader's case drain. You can put a new filter in there, but it's all aluminum. And I was going to use that for something, I can't remember, but that's what that is. Okay. Another melon tool. 8N Ford. Valve tool. Well, how many do I have of these things? It's the same thing. Okay, I don't know what those are for. I have to look those up. But anyway, there they are. Two brand new ones that look like they've ever been used. 
This looks like it might be an adapter for a vacuum cleaner. I believe. Okay, what else? More microfish. Look at that. Ford. Ford New Holland. Parts catalog. Tons of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's an old school drill sharpening tool. You'd set this up on your bench, put your drill bit in here to sharpen the drill bits. But I have a drill doctor now, so I really don't need that. It's kind of old school. Another piece of aluminum. I, I, say, I scrap aluminum once in a while. Another adapter for a Bobcat actuator. And another one. Okay. What else is got in here? Oh, more of that drill uh, sharpener, drill bit sharpener. Oh boy, what's here? Agco. Well, apparently there's a tractor running around without a bearing I forgot to put in. Hmm, brand new Agco bearing. I don't know where that came from. Hmm, very interesting. Can't tell you where that came from. They got a part number. I guess I could put that on eBay. Here we go. Look at this, huh? I got tools and I didn't even know it. Look at this thing. Ah. Wow. That's quite the little tool there. I don't really wear one of these on my belt, so. Uh, anyway, there it is. Kind of cute. Everybody's got to have a little bit of uh, plastic vinyl hose. Probably used it for testing purposes. I'm not really sure what for, but there it is. Okay. And let's see. And more microfish. Well, I got a ton of microfish. I don't know if they have any value to them at all. I have no idea. Somebody might want them. I don't know. This appears to be some type of use only as directed. Okay, some type of spray nozzle. Okay, that's cool. Wow. Two hitch pins. Nice ones too. Don't really need to be in the bottom of the drawer. Oh, there's the there's the light for that uh, lens for that. I have no idea what that's for though. Anyway, that's what that is. We're getting down to the bottom. There's not much left. There you go. There's a key for that drill. Alright. Here's a vintage squeegee. Wow. Ardmore Auto Squeegee and Scraper. Ardmore Manufacturing Company, Chicago. It's an oldie but a goodie, huh? I guess you scrape your ice and squeegee your windshield, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I got that. Some more hose. I have no idea. It looks like for an alternator connection. I don't know. Ooh. A receipt. CarQuest Auto Parts. Oh, there's the idler tensure. That's it. What the heck was it? Doesn't say what kind of car is off of. Hm. I'd have to look that up. Maybe that's what that came off of. Anyway, why I'm saving it, I don't know. Uh, that's just about it. I got a Black and Decker screwdriver charger, which I no longer have, so that'll be scrapped. Another chuck key. That's probably for that little drill I have. Oh, here we go again. Got another one of these. How many of these do you need, folks? Oh, I like that one better. That one opens up quicker. I might use that one. Brand new. Never been used. I think we're almost at the bottom. Got a couple scraps of wire. That is it. And an O-ring and a plastic tie. Now I'll decide what I'm going to save, and the rest is going to go probably back in the drawer.
That's all for now from Mudbones Corrupt.